How's it going everybody? Today I just want to make a quick video about how to lose weight and how to gain weight. Now the first step in losing weight or gaining weight is we first calculate your maintenance calories. Now to calculate your maintenance calories, we just take your body weight and you multiply it by 14 to 16. Now this number range is dependent on your activity level. And there are studies that have shown why 14 to 16 is used. Um, you can go on Google and figure it out, but I'm not gonna really explain it, but just know that it's either 14 to 16. Now your activity level basically, are, are you lazy or are you active? 14 meaning you're lazy, 16 meaning you like to go do stuff. Whatever the number is, you multiply it. Now, to make things simple, we'll take a 100 pound person. So we're gonna take that 100 pound person and we'll say they're right in between. They're kind of active, not really. So 100 times 15, you get 1500 calories. So you can consume, or that person can consume 1500 calories to maintain their body weight. Now, from there it's pretty simple. If you wanna gain weight, bump up those calories. If you wanna lose weight, obviously lower those calories. The main issue that people have though is they think that just cause they eat healthy, you're gonna lose weight. I'm not saying you shouldn't eat healthy, but at the same time, you have to watch what you're eating, even when you're eating healthy, because healthy things have calories. For instance, nuts. Nuts have a lot of calories. Avocados. Avocados have a lot of calories. You know, all these vegetables and fruits and all this good stuff for your body have a certain number of calories, and if you eat above your maintenance calories, you're going to gain weight, regardless of what you're eating. If you want to lose weight, don't pass your maintenance calories, obviously. So a good number that... I think is pretty um, safe for people to use is you take your maintenance calories if you want to lose weight drop it down anywhere from 300 to 500 calories if that's too hard you know you don't have to do that you can let's say week one you want to you want to start losing weight start your week one on a Sunday drop calories by 100 so if your maintenance calories is 1500 for that first week eat only 1400 calories every day if that's too easy then the next week, drop it down by another 100, 1,300. And if you're losing weight, if you're consistently losing weight at 1,300, there's no reason to, you know, drop your calories even more, unless you're trying to hit a deadline, that is. If you're trying to lose weight by a certain date, then okay, you want to, might want to speed up that process. You, want to, you might want to drop down those calories even more. Or you might want to start adding in some more cardio, you know, make your workouts a bit harder implement you know high intensity interval training there's a lot of ways to you know lose more calorie or lose more weight so keep going at that but at the same time don't starve yourself you know don't probably don't go past 1200 calories you know you know just be reasonable with yourself don't eat so that you're starving um when you hit that 1200 calorie mark for girls i'd say females probably don't dip down lower than 1200 um, so yeah, just figure out your maintenance calories, guys, and go from there. Take it nice and slow. You're not going to see results overnight. Obviously, you have to keep reminding yourself that. So thank you guys for watching.